Question 1. What is decinormal solution? Answer. The solution that contains 1 by 10th gram equivalent of solute in 1 liter of its solution is called decinormal solution. Question 2. What are the requisites for a substance to be a primary standard? Mention its examples. Answer. The criteria for a solution to be primary standard solution are as follows. It should be available in pure and dry state. Its composition should not be changed on storage, i.e., it should not be toxic, volatile, hygroscopic and deliquescent. It should be highly soluble in water without any change in its composition. It should have higher molecular and equivalent weight. Some of the examples of primary standard solution are sodium carbonate Na2CO3 potassium dichromate K2CR2O7 oxalic acid COOH2.2H2O mos salt etc. Question 3. What is normality? How it is related to molarity? Answer. The number of gram equivalent of solute present in 1 liter of the solution is called normality. It is represented by N. Normality equals number of gram equivalent of solute slash volume of solution in liter. It is related to molarity as normality N equals molarity into basicity of acid. Also, normality N equals molarity into acidity of base. Question 4. What is normality equation. Answer. The equation which is used to determine the strength of unknown solution is called normality equation. Its mathematical equation is volume of acid into normality of acid equals volume of base into normality of base. Question 5. What is the maximum weight that can be weighed in a chemical balance? Answer. 100 grams. Question 6. What is titration? Answer. The process of adding one solution from the burette to another in the titration flask in order to complete the chemical reaction involved is known as titration. Question 7. What is indicator? Answer. Indicator is a chemical substance which changes color at the end point. Question 8. What is end point? Answer. The stage during titration at which the reaction is just complete is known as the end point of titration. Question 9. What is secondary standard solution? Answer. The standard solution whose concentration is measured with the help of primary standard solution is called secondary standard solution. Example. N A O H H C L H 2 S O 4 etc. Question 10. What are the differences between endpoint and equivalence point? Answer. Endpoint is the point which indicates the completion of reaction by changing its color. It is indicated by the indicator, while equivalence point is the theoretical point at which the equivalent amount of titrant and titrant are added together. It is a theoretical point. 